What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the extended edition action spawning in the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Odin. His name is the Rapple, his opponent today in the blue color playing as Loki with a boar very close to his town center. His name is Mito or Mito. I don't know, I'm gonna call him Mito. I've been calling him Mito for the most part. We are in the losers finals of the group D or the group four of the bearer of uh, the heavens. Is that what it's called? Bearer of the heavens tournament. So both of these players have lost in this tournament. So that doesn't mean they're out. That means they get another shot to get through to the next round. Only that uh, you will, uh, the losers would probably have to play the winners in the uh, in the next stage of the game. Now, uh, we'll see how that's going to go. But, uh, yes, we have Rappel versus Mito. We've got a Norse mirror or Norse, Norse war on uh, the map Marsh. But that doesn't mean a whole lot. As we see a bit of a spy action coming over here from uh, Mito on the Ulfsar. Because he chucks up a random house in the middle of the map. We've got some relics on the map. We do have the Tusk of the Iron Boar. Extra 10%. HP on your cavalry. Very, very good. Uh, and we do also have the Cathara of Apollo. More 10%, but this time for your villagers, move speed. Very, very good. Uh, and I imagine Rapper will probably build a second Ulfsark here as he's going to continue to harass Mito's Ulfsark into oblivion. Uh, and that'll also force Mito to build a second Ulfsark or get his Ulfsark all the way back home. As it is looking like Rappel decides to leave and he's like, all right, back home. Give me some uh, oh, house coming up. Oh, spicy. Imagine uh, if if Mido would realize there's no house and come forward and attack this shank. Bit of shanking action. Bit of a shanky shank. We do have another. Oh, the ship of fingernails. All the good relics. Ship of fingernails isn't as good as the other two, but still a good relic nonetheless. So it's an interesting matchup, Loki versus uh, Odin, because Loki gets a lot of the advantages, or it would seem like he gets a lot of the advantages in this matchup, like free myth units. Uh, Hursa, speedy Hursa, flaming weapons that does a ton of damage. But the honest problem for uh, the Loki player is that everything is countered by one minor god in this game, and that minor god is Skadi. So all of those bonuses get countered, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't other ways to win the game once that happens. So we'll see uh, what's going to happen here in this game as Rappel is going for a fairly fast advance time. Six villages on wood, four village or dwarves on gold, and then clicking up, he's got the forward temple down, and did he click up Freya, or did he click up Heimdall? He is going through Freya, and now Mido is going to be getting his final dwarf out as well, as he's attempting to advance it a little bit later than Rappel. He's getting himself four gatherers, seven, uh, seven gatherers, sorry, 11 gatherers, and four uh, dwarves, and he is indeed picking Heimdall. After seeing the forward temple, he's deciding, you know what, Heimdall is probably not a bad idea because I can get a lot of value out of this middle of the, of the map, and I don't necessarily need Hall of Thanes. It's a very expensive technology in this matchup, but he does advance last, so that's a bit of a, a weak point there, for sure, as the Raven is just hanging out over, over top here. Just seeing these villagers eating the ball as one Hursa begins to come through. And we'll see how the game's going to go as the relics are going to start piling up for Rappel. Getting out that uh, that ship of the fingernails gives him about a third of a village or more. So even though Mido's got one villager in front right now, it's not exactly one villager in front. He's going to move over here uh, and drop this temple, uh, this relic into the temple there. Uh, as the Cathar Apollo comes in, that's going to help out a ton as well. As now Rappel moves forward, ready to start pushing off of this uh, off of this food here, and Mido has to move back. He does have a decent uh, hunting situation in the back here on those deer, as a longhouse is going to come up. For some reason, he's jumping onto his pigs, as the uh, Valkyrie does manage to get away from the hearse. Going to be circling around here, trying to get over here onto these onto these deer to make sure that nothing's going on there. Another longhouse coming up for Rappel. 
So he needs to start thinking about making those throwing axemen as well uh, to deal with the Heimdall uh, that has been researched by Mito. He's going up his own double longhouses here. How many villages on wood? Only four villages on wood. So not going to be really going for those throwing axemen that he, he kind of desperately does need to get. This Rappel's going to put some more pressure on. Got a slight population advantage for Rappel here. Uh, it's nothing too extreme. As Mido's going to come through here with his army to defend this one here. See, uh, finally, the Tusk of the Iron Boar has come through for Rappel as well, as he simply just has all the relics on the map. He's got everything he needs to continue here, uh, and he's going to start making those throwing axemen and those raiders uh, and... Sitting with still just a slight advantage. It's going to be difficult for him to find a real advantage here. Uh, as basically Mido is kind of caught up on population. Essentially, he's just out of free. Oh, golly, there's the yawns. As um, the deers here actually get raided. Nice raid there from Rappel. Picks off one villager as the villagers have to kind of figure out where they want to go. And now Mido's pushing forward to try and take this house down. Uh, and that's going to be a bit of a pain there for Rappel, but he's going to continue to fight. We do see uh, the forest fire onto this location here. Picks off one villager going after two villagers. The fight is continuing to ensue in the middle of the map as Rappel's multitasking is putting Mito off balance for sure. One house is down. Uh, Rappel still has a little bit of population room here anyways. Losing the houses is always bad. I do always recommend... Uh, once you've got the temple up and once you get the longhouse up, you just send the old sark back home. You can put one house in the middle of the map. It's not going to matter too much. But just send one old sark ba back home to be your lone house builder. It's not that bad having two population less in your army if you can have safe houses. As we are seeing a couple of units getting sniped here as Rappel is pushing forward, trying to do his, his darndest to get damage done. Uh, onto My Mito's army, and he's doing a good job of it. So you also see this raven distracting overhead. Uh, the population difference is now 15 as Rappel's... Both players are keeping their resources low, but Rappel's Odin. He gets that bonus food economy. So he just gets a lot more resources total here, it would seem, if we actually check what that's looking like. He's got a ton more food than his opponent, looking about 500 more. A little bit more wood, a little bit more gold, just a little bit more in every way. As Wait, Mido hasn't been building villages for a long time here. As Rappel has got a gigantic advantage on the villagers account as he's trying to come around both sides here and entrap the Toxodes from behind. We do see the Hursa attempting to take down that Einhiar as fast as he possibly can. Rappel has got a gigantic advantage in this fight, but will the Myth Unit spawns come in clutch for Maito or not? It's looking like they are not coming in clutch at all, and there's still a whole bunch of Hursa remaining here for Rappel in this fight. If we move over here and check the units tab, we've got five Hursa for Rappel, three for Mido, seven throwing Axemen, four for Mido, uh, and it's just a huge advantage for Rappel in this game, and in that moment, we do see Mido deciding to tap out the classic Norse war, finishing in eight minutes. Classic. Never, ever decides to change. Uh, but the Heimdall does not manage to stand up to simply just the, the Odin spammage here. Uh, a lot of this is this thing of no civilian units being made by Mido for whatever reason. And Rappel just getting a whole bunch out. Quick win for Rappel. Gets that first win. It is best of three, so we've got at least one more game coming for you guys. If you guys are enjoying these games, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.